In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the Eye Combat Barracuda along with the Zombie Mode feature. Turn on the computer and plug the CCM module into the computer's USB port. You must connect the laptop to an internet connection in order to start the software. Locate the Eye Combat Engine icon on the desktop and wait for the software to start up. This may take a few minutes. Once the software opens, it will ask for a username and password. This should already be typed in. After the software loads on the first screen, there should be a launch button in the bottom right corner. The software may need to update when opened. Give it a few moments to do so. Note, if the update fails, close the program and right click on the icon. From there, select Run as Administrator. The software should update properly from there. Once the software is open, you should have a gray box in the top left corner with Play, Management, Options, and Help. The next screen will have a game setup. From this screen, you must click on the Gameplay option and use the arrow to change gameplay from Tactical to Hero Nation. On the next screen, you will either see all of your guns in the center column or in the player setup grid. You can freely move players around individually or as a team if needed. Once on the next screen, you will see your gun or headband preloaded, but unsynced. To sync the gun, power your Titman Barracuda. Use the down arrow and S button to select Sync. Press the S button again to select Sync to Server. To sync the headbands, hold the P button for two seconds to turn on the headband. Once the headband is on, press the C button to sync it to the CCM. The blue row above each team will have all of the settings for each team and are as follows from left to right. The square box at the left of the column will allow you to move a team in or out of the game or to another team. The second image is of a person. This will allow you to change the mode normal. This is normal rifle mode for standard gameplay. Zombie. This mode is only used with the IR headband, not for use with guns alone. It is important that you ensure that all of your headbands are set to zombie. Medic respawn. Team. This mode allows the players to immediately respawn a player on their team back into the game without waiting for respawn time. Medic respawn. All. This mode allows the players to immediately respawn a player on any team back into the game without raiding for respawn. Medic Heal Team This mode allows the gun selected to increase his or her team's health by one per shot to keep them in the game longer. Medic Heal All This allows a power to increase all players' health by one when tagged by their gun. Medic Gun Heal Team this mode does the same as the Medic Heal Team except you are able to shoot down other players. Medic Gun Heal All This mode does the same as the Medic Heal All except you are able to shoot down other players. The next option is the name given to the group of players within a team. The next box may show errors if any guns or headbands are unsynced or offline. The health box sets the amount of health for each player per respawn. The lives box sets the number of respawns each player gets. The ammo box sets the amount of ammo each player gets per respawn. The zombie headband will always have unlimited ammo. The respawn box sets the amount of time a gun will be deactivated each time it runs out of health. The final box is trash can that allows you to delete a team or player from the game. Note, there is also an image of a gun or zombie head next to each player's name. Click on that image to ping the gun or headband you have selected. The gun or headband will beep or light up. The last setting you can adjust is the length of the countdown and the length of the game. 
This box is located just above the player setup screen. Once you have all of your settings the way you want them, you are ready to start the game. In the bottom right corner of the screen you will see a load button. Click this to load the game and get to the scoreboard page. Note, if the game is not loading, you must check that all of your guns are turned on and in ready mode. The game will not start if you have a gun that is turned off. From the scoreboard screen, click the play button next to the timer in the middle of the screen. It is a sideways triangle. The countdown will start and the game will begin. Once the game is ended, you will see a back button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Click this to go back to the player setup screen. To replay a game, click the duplicate button near the bottom left corner, then click load again. From there, you can click play to start a new game. Using the zombie mode. On the CCM software, ensure that all of your zombie player modes are set to zombie. Place the headband on your head, placing the control box in front and using the strap to tighten until it is snug. The signal for the headband to hit the gun will come from the headband control box. You may have to aim your head toward the player's gun to produce a hit. You do not have to press any buttons on the headband to produce a hit towards the player. The hit will come when the headband control box is within five feet of the player's gun. When you are hit as a zombie, your headband will beep and light up red for the present number of seconds. On the top of each headband there is a USB charging port. Plug the provided USB cable to the wall. A fully charged headband can last up to 14 hours depending on game type and number of devices synced. All headbands should be fully charged upon arrival. If you need any assistance, please call our tech line at 434-515-2888.